I would imagine that not a lot of you know the name Suzanne Mitchell anymore, but the Cowboys wouldn't be the Cowboys if she didn't work there years ago. Oh, they would have won a lot of games either way. They just wouldn't be the Cowboys as we know them. That part of her life is over now, and her life is about over too. But Suzanne Mitchell will keep making a difference and making it better until she can't anymore. Here's George Reba. Go! Go! Dallas! Cowboys! When you see the Cowboys cheerleaders take the field these days, they carry with them lots of history. The group, formed in 1960 with high school students, was originally known as the Cowbells and Bows. By 1970, general manager Tech Schramm decided to change their image to boost attendance. Five years later, Suzanne Mitchell, who started as Schramm's secretary, took over as the director of the cheerleaders. But it wasn't until the Super Bowl in Miami in January 1976 that things began to change. Everybody paid so much attention to the girls on the sidelines. And Tex started getting all these phone calls like crazy. And he said, somebody's got to manage these girls. Why don't you do that in your spare time? So that was it. Mitchell would be director of the cheerleaders until Jerry Jones bought the team in 1989. Tex really had given me my opportunity. It was my loyal, loyalty to him that made me leave because he gave me every opportunity to do what I did with the cheerleaders. To this day, Mitchell gets credit for molding the image of the cheerleaders into what you see on the field today. Well, what I did, especially the first few years, was say no a lot because Hollywood calling, William Morris in New York were calling, and they had all of these things they wanted us to do, to sponsor, to advertise, and they were, they were not in keeping with the image that Tex wanted and what I wanted. Some things like TV shows, Love Boats, uh, the Oak Ridge Boys, the Osmond Brothers, things of that sort, uh, country music awards. We started doing a little bit at a time, and mainly because the fans wanted to see the girls. And it just progressed from there, and I just held on tight. This was on the USS uh, Guadalcanal. What followed were trips to visit the troops overseas, performing in hangars and on aircraft carriers, and even carrying messages home from the troops to their families. Mitchell's impact was felt worldwide. To this day, the jacket she wore during those trips is kept at the cheerleaders' headquarters at Valley Ranch. The first tour of Korea at Christmas, a young soldier came up and put a pin, his unit crest pin, on my jacket. One after another, the boys kept doing it, and pin and pin. Well, the thing, the jacket ended up weighing like 14 pounds. But I wore it every night. This was in the Philippines. Right These before. days, Mitchell isn't fighting for her girls, but instead is in a battle to and save her life. Last July, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and is helping the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network to raise money to find a cure for the disease. The 5K and Fun Run raised a half million dollars last year. This year, on November the 8th, they're trying to double that amount. The thing about this cancer and the reason I want to do things like this is whatever time I have left, because only six out of a hundred that are diagnosed live five years. So I don't know how much time I have, but I want to spend that time trying to increase the awareness because there's less funding for pancreatic cancer than there is any cancer. I'm okay. To help raise money for research, Tony Washington, who was a cheerleader for Mitchell, designed what she calls her Suzanne bracelet. What she did, not just for me, but for so many women around the world, and uh, I'm a better mother because of my mother and Suzanne. I mean, it's just the, the touch of her is unbelievable. I was just blown away. And most of the cheerleaders have bought one or are going to, and we're hoping it's going to help. In the meantime, Mitchell, who has called herself the luckiest lady that has ever lived, continues to fight for her life. You are my world. I am the woman I am today because of you. And I love you more than words will ever know. The Suzanne Bracelet will carry your legacy and um, it'll out, outlive me. No. George Reba, Channel 8 Sports.